What's up guys, this is Shane with Bass Nose Fishing. And first, before I get into the video, I just wanna give a huge shout out to Bonafide for teaming up with us and uh, allowing us to get these kayaks a couple years ago when they came out onto the market. Uh, they gave us a pro staff discount and uh, we were just really stoked to be able to team up with them, get on their yak and Man, I tell you what, this, this kayak right here is, is one of the best kayaks out on the market. The fishability on it is, is unbelievable. Uh, the ability to stand and just everything that I was able to do to just rig this kayak up to make it almost a small bass boat has just been phenomenal and a great experience and the, the quality of it and everything has just been really, really good. So I wanted to give a shout out to them um, to start the video. Also, I wanna give a shout out to Motor Guide for teaming up with us as well. And today I'm gonna to go ahead and go through kind of the whole entire kayak, but really focus on that trolling motor and the way that it's um, helped me to stay on a spot, to get on the other side of the lake without killing myself paddling. So let's go ahead and get into it. First off, I just wanna talk a little bit about the kayak. Um, this thing is super stable. It's all the little intricate details that Bonafide did in making this kayak. Um, just really helps me as an angler to be able to um, utilize every single space, every single bit of space on this kayak. Um, from where I put my fish finder on the dry pod, the way that the way that they just allowed it to go ahead and just make it super easy for us to install a fish finder right there. Um, to the hull of the kayak, when you lift this up, you could put rods in here, you could put clothes in here, you could put pretty much anything in here and it goes all the way back to the back of the kayak so there's just tons of storage uh, with the high rise seat the seat has just been super comfortable extremely durable really well made uh, I just have nothing but good things to say about this whole entire kayak um, and of course the black pack fits just perfect um, right here in the back and just the way that they just designed this whole entire thing, I'm just, I'm just really, really, really stoked to be able to have this as my first kayak. Uh, my team, the Bass Thumbs Fishing Team, we all started off in float tubes. So when we first saw these things, we were, we were really excited about it. And uh, just the, the ability to stand on this kayak is, is awesome. I literally pretty much stand the entire time when I'm fishing. So um, I wanna go ahead and get into the basic kind of installation video that I did um, with this XI3 wireless uh, trolling motor by, by Motor Guide. All right, so the first thing that we had to do was actually put this mount on right here. Um, this is the quick release mount. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you, first off, how it comes out. So you basically just pull this thing right here, pull it out, and then you just literally pull that U bracket out and just lift it straight up and the whole motor comes off this is the quick release mount right here uh it's literally just you just gotta drill four holes stick your hand and open this up open this up right here and i just put my hand down in here and we just tighten them up and this this plate we didn't use any type of backing plate really i mean this this pad right here and the, the structure of the plastic and the durability of the plastic works great. It doesn't bend or anything. The front doesn't bend down. Uh, this nose is really, really sturdy. Uh, the Bonafide's actually a really, really good kayak for this type of, of trolling motor uh, because this deck is, is pretty flat. Um, you know, some kayaks have like either like a, like a V right here or it's really narrow. Uh, but this, this whole front section of the SS-127 is uh is pretty wide and flat so that was one of the biggest reasons when i was choosing what motor to put on and why i didn't decide to put on a torquedo or anything on the back was that i just really wanted something up on the front to give it that bass boat feel and being able to like direct like to keep me on the spot and direct myself um, a little bit easier than than it would to have something on the back um so this is the quick release mount it's literally like you just put the, the motor back on and just slide these through the holes and it's it's that simple. When when they say quick release, I mean it's it's a quick release right off the mount and it works it works really well. It's super easy, it's really convenient when you're trying to pack up. Um, if you don't want your trolling motor on there, 
whether you're spending at a hotel in the parking lot, you want to take your motor off, it's super easy. You literally just pull these bars out and the whole motor comes off and there's just a little black plate underneath here. And uh, as far as um, we actually cut the shaft down on this one. Um, this is the 45 pound thrust 12 volt trolling motor. I think it was a 48 inch uh, shaft and we cut it down about 14 inches. Um, I'm really stoked on, on the height of it. Um, I just took it out this last weekend and it never got in my way. It was, it was just out of the way. I barely noticed it as far as um, when I was placing my fishing rods for any application, whether it was the frog, the drop shot, crankbait, all the applications, the, the rod was nowhere near um, the motor, which made it super nice. So, um, and again, it's wireless. Um, so it's controlled by a remote. And the remote, you can put it around your neck. This is forward and reverse, side to side, and then power on, power off. Um, so basically the whole time when I was fishing, I'd pull up onto a spot, <clears throat> turn the trolling motor off, and then just press the power button right back on to go ahead and pull out of a spot. And um, the cool thing about this is that it shows your battery life. So it has a little spot for the battery life. Um, it does have um, spot lock as well, but not this specific unit, but I, I believe you can get a chip to put into this unit. Um, don't quote me on that though, but can buy this same exact motor with spot lock. It's just a little bit more expensive. So in order to make the installation um, just really clean, we went ahead and got a few accessories from Motor Guide. And the first accessory that we got was a trolling motor replacement plug, which is, which is this thing right here. So we went ahead and spliced the wires off, cut them, and put this thing on. And then we make it, we made it plug in Drill the hole out right here, um, put this trolling motor receptacle right here, and then you just go ahead and just plug it in. And the wires um, go down into the hall. Go, they're in the hall along this side right here. And I made it come out um, of this, this back piece right here. Um, this is called the trolling motor power receptacle. So we put a trolling motor power receptacle right here because it's really close to the battery. And then you just basically just flip it open. You just flip it up, plug it in, and it's basically plug and play. We also did a little breaker um, right here. And then I basically just kept this, I bought this battery tender, this 12.5 amp battery tender. Hooked it up to the cable already so it just stays on so when I get home, I can just plug it into the battery tender right away and charge it up. I have a Group 31, uh, pretty much like a semi-truck battery, and this is a 12 volt Group 31 uh, battery. Again, any battery that you personally want, there's tons of batteries out there. Lithium batteries are the best. Uh, I just couldn't spend that much money on, on getting a lithium battery. Um, so I went ahead and got this one, and it lasts me all day. Uh, I was just out for about eight hours, and it never even like, Felt like it got low or the motor got slow, but, um, but that's pretty much it for the install. I mean, you can go ahead and do a couple different ways depending on what kayak you have. Um, so now that the trolling motor's on, I can kind of show you how it works. So you basically turn on, turn on the motor, and then now that the motor's on, you just can turn it right, left, and then up and down, gets it gets the, the blades moving. There is no reverse, but it does turn all the way around, almost pretty much in a 360, and you can go ahead and just back out. Whatever way the head is pointing is the direction that you're gonna go, obviously. Um, so that's pretty much it for the motor. So like I said, you can just turn it off, turn it on, super easy. Uh, and then this light right here, it shows your battery life. So that, that little green bar will go lower and lower um, if it's detecting that your battery is, is getting low. And uh, the way that we, I mean, the only kind of like thing that was kind of difficult without um, is the ability to pull this motor up because obviously you're not gonna like crawl on all fours right here. So we just gotta 
a black paracord from Home Depot and uh, pretty much just kind of like taped it to the neck right here so that way um, basically what I do is is I take my net it's gonna be kind of hard holding holding the camera at the same time but basically just hold my net let me put it down for a second just hold my net like that push the latch down basically use a paracord to pull the motor head up and it'll come back into position and it's just super easy one thing that I kind of didn't know um, when I was first looking into getting a motor for my kayak is at least the state of California and I'm pretty sure throughout the United States um, they require you to register your kayak so make sure you guys do that if you get a motor just to obey the law and follow the rules um, it was a pretty simple process I just had to show the proof of purchase and um, I think I showed them a receipt or something but <clears throat> they, get, and they actually sent me like a pink slip for my kayak so I'm the certified owner of this kayak right here. <laughs> um, but other than that, I think that pretty much wraps up the video. Um, overall, I'm super, super satisfied. And I'm really, really glad that I chose this wireless XI3 trolling motor by Motor Guide.